Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Ever Crisis. We're going to be talking about how to build your character and why does everything work. We're going to go through equipment, materia, sub slots, and what works and what doesn't work and allow you guys to beat content that's probably like 10k over your power level. I've been doing a couple of them today, unlocking things I should unlock until I'm stronger, but because I know how all this works, it's been pretty easy to pass the content. So hopefully something here helps you guys out. All right, for Cloud, we're going to use him as an example because most of you guys are using him as a main DPS and it doesn't matter which character you use, this applies to every single one of them. I'm going to teach you how to equip them to make them exactly the max strength that is possible on your account. So starting off, this is the basic Cloud. This is his stats. I can't unequip the main weapon, so you're going to have to make do. His physical attack is 237, magic 229, plus the heal, defense, and physical defense. These are his abilities currently for that weapon. C abilities are the abilities that come with the weapon itself. So if you look at the Mithril Saber here, it's got Rune Rub Burst. If I go to the Murasami, it has a Thunder Strike. If I go to the Bust of Sword, it has Braver. So your first thing that you guys should realize, the C ability is that ability that you're able to cast depending on the weapon you have equipped. And this, it works for your main weapon and your sub main weapon when you equip both of them. Now, First thing you guys should realize, the first weapon that's equipped in the main slot will get 100% of all its stats, and that makes sense. And I'm emphasizing this because the weapon you equip down here, you will not get 100% of its stats. So for a sec, uh, example right here, Murasami increases my physical attack to 442. Now let's reverse that where Murasami is in the main slot. So we'll equip that, and you can already see my physical attack is 652. So you're not getting the full benefit if you equip your stronger weapon down here. The stronger weapon should go on the main hand and the other weapon should go down below. So let me explain why that's happening. In the sub weapon over here, you're getting 50%. They even have a picture of like a broken sword to kind of explain to you. Now, when you add a weapon, let's say we're going to add the Buster Sword here because it's my other strong weapon that Cloud currently has. This weapon has a physical attack of 189. So you figure, okay, if I equip that, I should get all 189. We well, know, like we established, it's 50%. So we're gonna go from 652 to 760. So when you see the 50%, it's 50% of everything that sword has, including its abilities. So the Buster Sword has boost HP 11 points. If we equip it, like we're doing right now, and we scroll down to our R abilities, we're getting boost HP five points. It can't give you 5.5, so it rounds down and not up. So because that is 11, it's giving us five. If I remove it, there is no longer the boost HP. So 50% of everything that weapon has is going towards cloud, but you get 100% of the ability because ability is what it is. It deals 480% physical and it has that crit rate of 10%, and if you're destroying a sigil that matches the X, you do 1.5 damage. So that's how the main weapon and the sub main weapon works together. So you can see why it's important pulling for certain weapons to really emphasize what you wanna make on Cloud to, to make them a lot stronger. Now, why does that last R ability matter so much? If you look at boost physical attack, it's at 16 points level three. What does that all mean? Well, if you click on it, if I only had a total of one point, I'd only get the bonus of 10, plus 10 physical attack and 5% increase of my overall attack. If I go higher on more of these points, 5, 15, 25, all the way up to 55, I would get physical attack plus 100 and plus 50% increase. So you're aiming to get the max so you get the best level. So you can see why our ability is so important, and this is going to explain why everything you equip to Cloud is so important. If this was Aerith, you'd be going for healing boost. If it was a magic damage deal, you'd be going for magic attack, uh, defense for the tanks, HP. So right now we're focusing on Cloud. I want to focus on that boost. You will see that there's other things here that also help out, like critical boost, uh, survivability, HP boost, defense boost, and boost lightning pots, which also currently here gives an extra 25% to lightning damage. Now, how do we increase all of this for whatever we're going for? There's multiple ways. First one is very straightforward, armor. The armor in this game does add a lot, and there is different type of armors currently that you can get with your gear voucher or your armor voucher, 
Or in this case, I got Cloud's armor from doing the chocobo tickets. When you do your pulls, you get that stamp. If you get 12 stamps, you end up getting the garb. And this is really, really strong because not only does it give us five points 100% because this is our character, towards this, pushing this towards 21, we also get the 11 blade 35% uh, lightning damage. And Murasami has a lightning attack. So these combined together make Cloud so much stronger. So you wanna look for armor on your character that really emphasizes either its weapon or what it's currently going for. Physical, magical attack, in this case, physical attack. So we're gonna equip this, and now we're at a total of 21. Now that we got one, two, and three to increase that, let's go into sub weapons. I currently have three unlocked, and that's because I'm player level 15. Once you reach 15, you'll unlock your third slot. And again, you can see that sword that's cut in half because that's 50%. So you're going to have this whole list of Barret, Tifa, Aerith, everyone that's currently in the game. Let's filter that so it's not so complicated. Let's go over here where it's our ability right above my head. Click on this and I only want to see stuff that increase my physical attack. We're going to confirm, click filter, and this is all I have because I've only done five pulls. I'm going to look for the best weapon here that has the most boost. This one, W Machine from Barret gives me two. Over here, the broad war, uh, broadsword axe gives us three. Now you're like, oh, three, that's good. It's cut in half. So we're only getting 50%, which would be 1.5, but the game doesn't give you the 0.5, so it rounds down. I'm going from 21 to 22 points. Although this is the most, and if I add this and the other two slots together, we will get more out of it. And at 24, because all of this is half. Now, if I had better weapons because I ended up getting more lucky, these would be five stars or the ones that have a lot more. If I do upgrade these weapons though, they their points will go up just like how my current weapons give me so much. If we go back to the main weapon and I'll show you Murasami, you can see I have a boost physical attack of 16 points where a base one wouldn't have that much. So once you upgrade your sub weapons as well, you'll also be upgrading those R abilities on those sub weapons, which allows your character to get that much stronger. So that way it's so important to upgrade all your other characters, the ones you even don't play, to get those five star weapons to level 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, eventually everything on a character from main weapons two sub weapons should all be level 90 so it can give you 50 percent of its stats including the abilities as well so if i were to equip over here and give him just the best of the best so now you can see i have a total of 1162 attack yeah i didn't get the ability up to 25 points but i still went up a lot so that's still a lot of damage so you got to go through your inventory and see what you have for the ability or just put on meat sticks that just do a lot of damage. But here's a pro tip if you're still this deep into the video and you haven't walked away yet. You can upgrade four stars without worrying about if I pull the five star, what happens? Last night I learned that a four star, if you do unlock the five star version later on, it will automatically transfer into that five star, its level and everything so you don't waste the materials into upgrading it. So let's say I did want to use a W machine. I'm gonna go into the W machine. I'm gonna go enhance this and I'll be right back. So to show you guys those four star weapons, here is the W machine I brought to level 30. Once you get to the uncap level to bring it to level 40, you can see ability has an arrow going up and you'll see the physical boost is at eight points now. Let's take away Zach's weapon and let's add the W machine. So yes, we're gonna lose attack, but you can see we went from lower attack to higher attack even though this is not a five star it's not level 50 it gave us the ability to get to level 25 so if you click on boost physical attack we're now at 25 which gave us 100 plus 20 percent so that extra 5 and 40 attack made the difference of being a sub weapon that's stronger than just using a, a bigger meat stick so because of that we ended up making a lot better damage on our character. Not like a huge amount, <laughs> but it shows you that don't be afraid to upgrade your four-star weapons because eventually they'll just transfer to your five-star weapon 
and they work better if it's what you're looking for. And because it went to eight, we get half, we got four, Cloud got 25, which gave him that next level. We're now gonna jump into Materia. Now, because my Murasami is at level 70, so it has that uncap, I got all three of these slots activated, and that is the S ability, which was physical attack boost, physical attack boost, and sigil boost. What does this do? Well, right over here, physical ability damage plus 20%. There is magical materia and physical materia. So this is blizzard blow and this is normal blizzard blow at three star. Now compare that to your other blizzard. The way to tell the difference is that magical is in green and physical is in yellow. And another way to tell is if you click on blizzard blow, it will say deals 220% physical ice damage or your other blizzard will just say deals 210% magical ice damage. So now you know that, okay, well, my weapon slot says that it wants to boost physical. So I'm going to equip Blizzard Blow 3 star. And because that works together, that sigil is now blinking. If I were to put on normal Blizzard and equip it, it's not activated. So that's how Materia works. And this is really important as you go through different weapons. So you want to equip with Cloud with all the physical versions of these attacks. But the last slot here says Sigil Boost. Sigils defeated by matching Sigil Materia during attack shift count for plus two. That is huge. So when the boss is about to do a big attack and it says beat this many triangle X's or circles, if the Materia in this slot matches that boss's Sigils, you'll end up breaking plus two because of it. So we're gonna equip the triangle one, equip it, and now you can see that it's glowing. So if we ever face a boss that says that it needs the sigil of the triangle shape, you can put that in the third slot. Don't put it in the second, don't put it in the first, put it on the slot that works with this weapon. In this case, Murasami's third slot, boost sigil bow, uh, triangle. And every time it does whatever it does, it takes away one, two, three, it'll take an extra two on top of it. So putting the right materia in the right slots also really, really matter. That is how you build your perfect character. Now, if I push best equipment while looking at the sub slots, you'll see that it switched to these for just the pure damage, but it's still at 1,168. Even though I pushed best equipment, that's what it gave me. Now let's go back to the W machine, look at our 1,168, equip the W machine, 1,234. Magic attack goes down, healing goes down, so you've got to decide what's better or not. But this is an example of telling you that the AI doesn't know best all the time. So choose for yourself for what fight you're going to be like, I need more physical attack. I don't need magical. I don't need healing because Cloud's not going to have a cure on him. He's just going to be doing DPS. And then you build that way. Don't just push best equipment all the time. Go look at the enemy's info and then build the character accordingly. And if you do this, you can do what I did and bring in a very strong team into something you couldn't complete. So for me, solo content enhancement, my premium quest, I refuse to sit at level 60 for any longer because my team is currently at 59. This is at 68, but you can see I got a check mark on it for the first clear. So if I click select 58,000, push recommended, just to give you the best equipment, but it will equip your fire, it'll equip your sigil matching. So that's really good just overall for quick farming if you know that your team can do it. But you can see I'm 9,000 off, but I still was able to complete this quest because I actually went into each character, switched to what they needed, proper materia, gave the proper boost where it needed, more healing for Aerith, more damage for Cloud in that situation, and I was able to clear this that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it did help you, don't forget to leave a comment down below or hit that like button so the algorithm just keeps picking up my videos. Uh, tomorrow, I hopefully will be putting out a Materia Advanced Guide to really help you decide which Materia you should be synthesizing, upgrading, keeping, and getting rid of as experience fodder for the other good Materia because you only have 100 slots to keep all that. Uh, hopefully, I'll have that video done by tomorrow. For now, thank you all so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll smell you later.